every Tuesday. So let's get into it with our awesome things of the week. I know it's Halloween, but I'll hold off mine because it's the creepy one. Uh, so Achilla, what do you have that's useful out there? So, so I have perch, and I actually, I actually kind of am thinking about a plan to use this for Halloween that that brings brings back memories of my childhood personally. So, so mine is perch. It allows you to turn any old Android device into a monitor, um, whether it be a tablet, a phone, whatever. Um, you can obviously get a video feed as well as an audio feed. It also allows you to talk back. Um, this from it is in beta. It is Android only right now. I've heard rumblings that they may have an iOS app in the future. Um, and you can sign up for it at getperch.com. We're kind of this ties into my childhood um, and Halloween. Was my, I grew up at my grandparents' house, and one of the things my grandparents would do was they would put a walkie-talkie inside of the pumpkin, and you could actually hear kids come up to the front porch with the door shut, and they would talk through and scare the crap out of people um, through that. And I actually have an old um, Motorola Zoom tablet with a with an attachable speaker. So I think I may, I may do the same thing. Use it to monitor kids coming up to the the um, front porch. I'll be able to see them, and then I can I can yell and scream and play loud music and and whatnot um, through the device. So uh, to me, this answer. I think you've looked at products like this that allow you to use a webcam mm -hmm. from a laptop, and I think this this will allow you to also use a laptop webcam or, or anything else to to kind of get started, but. To me, this is just another solution in the the repertoire of home home security type applications. And I'm using uh, Sighthound that we talked about on the show previously. Uh, so not, mm -hmm. I mean, it's a little more kludgy. Again, I'm not paying for like the kind of the bells and whistles of it, but it gets the job done. And uh, I just grabbed an old old tower and uh, threw it in the corner in the living room, and, and and that works pretty well. And I have a good idea what's going on if there's like you know something's knocked over on in my front yard. What happened here? And I can get a pretty good idea, right? Mm -hmm. um, but uh, no, I like the idea of this, especially if you're like a longtime Android user and you just have a collection of phones. Like, can you, how far back of a phone can this go? That I, that's a good question. Like, like, are we talking about like if I have a bunch of old like Kia Sierra uh, fifty dollar phones? Is this going to work on there? It's Android four one and up, so it goes yeah, back pretty darn far. True. True. Uh, but like you're not throwing this on your G1 or anything like that. Uh, so, no. but, but that's fine. I mean, that's that's a nice that's a nice kind of entry point to get into something like this. Uh, I, I think it's uh, I, I think it's cool. I, and and when my uh, Android uh, my Nexus Seven tablet becomes a little too uh, uh, sketchy for me to be using, maybe that's something I can do with it. So, or maybe uh, can you can you just like look for some cheap uh, Android 4.1 devices? and snag those off of eBay or something. I'm, and, I'm sure you could find plenty of those because, I mean, for one, that's, is that jelly bean or honeycomb? Oh, I don't know. I mean, know. A, lot of a lot of devices got up updated to KitKat. Mm -hmm. There was a big push. Um, it, for one's jelly bean, and it's one of the, the first iterations of jelly bean. So there's there's plenty of cheap devices you can find out there. Um, pretty, yeah, four O was ice cream sandwich. Pretty randomly, there's some uh, some brands I'm not recognizing. Xgodi apparently uh, Android Android devices for about sixty dollars. Buy it now, thirty or forty dollars. Buy it now, and these are three G GSM GPS Android dual SIM unlock straight talk AT and T smartphones, and uh, they're going to be. I mean, they're they're going to work for this. So, and, I, and it, I'm sure you could find a bunch of older older even tablets, right? right. Um, that you're going to be able to use with this the fifty the fifty dollar tablet you pick up at uh at Big Lots. This is probably going to run this no problem. Thirty five dollars the 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 blue da dash <laughs> junior. Uh, I, I'm presuming this is an Android phone. It looks like it. There you go. Yeah, there's a lot of options. So you can just like snag these. And is it is it a one to one or can I kind of create a network of these things? How you can create thing a network work? of them. Okay. So I can just yeah, like. So like and that, that's a lot of lot less overhead because even like what I'm doing is I have a webcam and I have a super happen to have a super long USB cord I'm running that across and behind things in the living room up to the front window 
and, and, and you know, there's just a lot to it. But if it's just a, well, I need to run power to a phone or old tablet that so it never goes off. We just can stick bees anywhere. Maybe put some Velcro hangy thingies in the corner or something. Uh, and, and you can just uh, just just do that. 